being more confident in yourself and you start to enjoy school, which is lovely to see. Um, Jude, Jude, again, um, when you started with me, you lacked a little bit of confidence, you were very timid. Um, gradually, as time came, you became confident within yourself. Um, and I, what I would like to say to all of you, uh, yes, it is I've been today, it's an absolute pleasure teaching you and having you in our school. And um, just remember, we do all the very best for year seven. Uh, be who you are. And remember, always aim high and try your best. Okay. I'm just going to hand you over um, to Mr. Smith to say a few words. Please stand by for me. Okay. Hello, everyone. I know we're uh, having a little bit difficulties hearing everyone through. So I'll try to speak a little bit slowly so we can all understand. Um, so I'll have to say when I first got here, as you know, this has been my first year teaching in England, but also teaching in Tuxlow. And so when I was told the evening that I was teaching, you know, I was very excited. And then they said I was going to teach year six times two. And I was a little nervous. You know, one class with the year sixes, I was nervous. I didn't know whether you like it. I didn't know whether we'd have fun together, whether we would learn stuff together. And the moment you all walked in that room on the first day, I don't know if you can believe this, but I was way more nervous and way more scared than any of you meeting you all for the first time than you might have been meeting me. But after that first lesson, I knew what a great group that I had the, the absolute privilege of teaching for the rest of the year. And for the rest of the year, those expectations I had after that first lesson just grew and grew and we met them every unit that we encountered together. And the best part about that is that even though we've had to Zoom together for our last summer term, that enthusiasm for learning, that commitment to bettering yourself and improving yourselves did not wane at all. You all carried through your lovely energy, your enthusiasm for learning right through in really tricky times, especially with some tricky information. And you really, really surpassed, you went above and beyond my expectations for what we could achieve together throughout everything. And as we come to the close of this year, you know, I'm sad. I really wish that I could have taught you more classes, that we could have spent more time together, because Every time that you walked into my room, I knew we were going to have fun. I knew that we were going to make some great, great learning, that we were going to ask some great questions, that we we're going to show commitment. And every time that I would ask a, class, a question about something, all the hands went up. Everyone was determined to show me how much that they're capable of learning. And that's the spirit that we need to keep and even better when we go into year seven. So I know we all have the capacity to be excellent in year seven from just the lessons that I taught you. So without any further ado, I will bid you all farewell and good luck, although I know you won't need it. I had a great time this year, and I hope you have a great time in your next chapter. And I'll sit over to Miss Lee. Good year. My year three class. Um, I remember what we did such fantastic things. We went to the uh, dinosaur museum. You, you did, you did lovely experiments. You were very good authors. Brilliant mathematicians, singers, dancers. You all have many wonderful talents. Different doesn't matter what you are, what, what your talents are. You just work at them, be determined, work hard, and I know you do well. You've got wonderful parents who will and support you, and as long as we keep determination, we're all hard working, we'll be able to do the things that you do, hopefully. Um, I wish.